My name is Dennis Coltoyer. I'm a member of People for Palestinian Israeli Justice, headquartered here in Long Beach. I'm also a member of the HB Boycott Campaign, and I'm a member of a new group called the Coalition to Stop AB1551 and AB1552. AB1551 is called the California Israel Commerce Protection Act, and it was introduced in the California Assembly on January 4th, 2016, by Assemblymember Travis Allen from Huntington Beach. This bill would prohibit the state from investing in businesses or entities that comply with a boycott called by a foreign country or an international organization against Israel or Israeli-controlled territories. That's 1551. 1552 would prohibit the state, also introduced by uh, Travis Allen on the same day, by the way, 1552 would prohibit the state from contracting with any entity that is involved in what he calls discriminatory boycotts. Now, while 1552 does not name Israel specifically, Allen has made it clear in statements made since he introduced the bills that his intent for both bills is the same, to penalize people who participate in boycotts involving Israel. Well, we want to boycott Israel. The BDS movement, the Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions movement, is calling for boycotts of Israel and Israeli-related companies and things like that because we're trying to get Israel to come to the table to talk peace with the Palestinians on an equal footing. But Israel has so much more power than the Palestinians do, they are always calling the conditions for meetings and things like that. And so we hope that BDS will help push Israel toward more fair, more justice, more just um, conversations with the Palestinians. Being for BDS doesn't necessarily mean you support Hamas. BDS and Hamas are not connected in any way. What the coalition is working on right now is getting people to call and write their assembly members to tell their assembly member not to support AB1551 and AB1552. The bill won't go to committee until sometime in March. It probably won't get voted on at all until April or May. So we have a couple of months to organize things and to uh, pick up a good response to the bills. Well, Americans should get involved in this for a number of reasons. One basic reason is that it's a fight for justice for the Palestinians. And just on that accord itself, people should get involved in it. But also, uh, the importance of the United States to Israel is very important to consider and think of. The United States gives Israel over $3 billion a year in military aid. Um, and this helped Israel, of course, a lot in their uh, occupation and uh, control of the Palestinians. So as U.S. citizens, we have a responsibility to also try to get the United States to stop supporting Israeli obstruction. There are other bills in other states right now, like New York, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Florida, uh, a couple of other states that have also had bills introduced in their assemblies or their senates to uh, make boycotting BDS illegal. Uh, it's probably likely, most legal opinion I've seen so far, says that these bills are themselves unconstitutional because they attempt to control and curtail free speech. Uh, the Supreme Court has ruled that boycotts are indeed legal uh, processes um, that boycotts they see as political speech, and they see political speech as one of the most important kinds of free speech to protect in our country. So boycotts should be protected. It's unconstitutional, therefore, to discriminate against people who are doing boycotts or divestment.